Welcome back. They fought in wars, made sacrifices, and protected the country. Veterans do a lot to serve, and at the Georgia War Veterans Home in Milledgeville, they still do it, but in a different way. Jessica Chow visited the center and shares some of their art and also what that art means to them in a story that comes straight from the heart. Oh, beautiful, most gracious sky. The room is filled with veterans. America, America. God gave his grace on me. Who have traded in their weapons for paintbrushes at the Georgia War Veterans Nursing Home. Being away from home is a change of pace. Yeah. Kind of remind me of when I was in the military. Jimmy Reese has lived here for two years and he served in Vietnam for one. I was 18 when I went in. Every second passed by you were afraid you would die. Many like Rees come to places like this. It's a, it's a nursing home, but we also offer like rehabilitative care. Activities director Michelle Flood says that includes anything from Tai Chi lessons to animal therapy, and there are programs. Uh, a lot of residents here have lost certain abilities over time. Like their hands or eyes. But with art, you don't need to have perfect eye-hand coordination or, or whatever. You know, you can do that at any time in your life. Many have taken a stroke at it, and now some of it is on display. It makes you feel better, feel like you're not doing it just to be doing it. Veterans did a lot for their country, but Ree says when they enter nursing homes, they feel like they disappear. Just burn out, uh, falling apart. I'm still a human being. He says the art opens doors for veterans to the outside world to still serve the community in some way. They have a lot of life left in them. And so Reese says he'll continue to paint and try hard for people to see. In Milledgeville, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. Flood says the veterans art exhibits on display at the Allied Arts of Milledgeville until July 21st. She says they're planning to make the exhibit an annual event. And if you'd like to volunteer and make art with their veterans, you can stop by on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Kiner's live in Nashville next.